Hello, I just want to make a short video about the precession of the equinoxes and um, the Mayan calendar and um, what I think they might have to do with ice ages. Okay, now scientists apparently say that ice ages are 13,000 years long and I think we're supposed to have 13,000 years between each one. So when I heard that the precession of the equinoxes takes 26,000 years, I thought, well, that's very interesting because that's exactly two ice ages. And then I heard that, um, then I read or heard or whatever, that the Mayan calendar um, is said to be at zero, position zero, next year in November. And um, that that is when we're supposed to have an alignment of our solar system with the dark rift at the center of our galaxy. The dark rift is an area with no stars. Now, um, it occurred to me that um, those three things are quite interesting. Maybe the dark rift has some kind of triggering function and um, divides our experience into uh, a 13,000 year period of ice age and a 13,000 year period of um, of not having an ice age. Now, um, so why would this come about? How would you have this triggering effect? Okay, well, um, the spiral galaxy, the Milky Way, lies flat on the page. I'm not sure which way it's turning, one way or the other. But our galaxy, which is on one of the ends, of, on the, at the end of one of the arms, doesn't lie flat, doesn't go flat on the page. It's not in alignment with the galaxy. It's off center, off kilter. And um, I think it might be actually sort of, um, uh, what's it, perpendicular, is it, to it? Something like that. Anyway, um, it uh, goes in and out of the page in circular motion, one way or the other, through the other side, out again, not sure exactly how. I'm not sure which way, which direction it's traveling either. But whichever combination you have of directions for each of these things, for each of these turning things, there's always going to be one way in which the energies are moving towards each other and one way in which they're not moving towards each other but are actually going in the same direction. And um, presumably, uh, well, this will be, um, because it takes 26,000 years to do one of these tiny little turns that we do, um, for the precession of the equinoxes. Um, each half is going to be 13,000 years. So every 13,000 years of these turns, we're going to come into alignment with the dark rift of the galaxy at the center of the galaxy. So um, I was thinking that maybe the energy may be focused down the dark rift, who knows, or lacking in the dark rift, or something like that, is a triggering effect or a marking effect anyway. Like, I mean, the Maya mark, it is position zero. Um, it's a marking effect anyway, say. But um, I was wondering whether um, ice ages are caused by um, the energies that result from, uh, by the effect of our energies and the energies of the galaxy um, either approaching each other or moving in the same direction. Now, if they're approaching each other, you may get a squashing up effect like you do when you have a fire engine coming towards you. Because the sound waves are approaching you, they squash up a lot together and it makes the sound higher pitched and more energized. I thought this might have an effect on the sun of energizing the sun, causing solar flares, which would melt the ice caps and push the ocean's currents in the opposite direction. According to scientists, if this happened, this would bring about an ice age because we'd get so much cold weather, cold um, water and cold air all flooding towards us all the time and would give us an ice age. Um, alternatively, maybe the ice age results from going in the same direction as the galaxy because this might make the waves spread out like um, sound waves from a fire engine do when the fire engine is going away because then the sound waves are drawn out and the sound is lower and less energized. Now, if this happened, perhaps we would have a less energized environment, which would be cooler and would create an ice age. I'm not sure which is the correct scenario. 
Um, perhaps if you think this theory has any validity, you could let me know. As far as I'm concerned, it's my theory and I thought of it. And um, I'm very proud of it. Um, and I want to own it. But, I do own it, but... And if anyone can prove anyone else has thought of it before, then, you know, I'd have to admit that. But um, anyway, do let me know what you think of it. Um, so um, there's something else I was going to say. What was it now? Um, oh, I can't remember right now. Yeah, look in my notes for it. If I, I'm going to write anything else I think about in the notes below, the discussion below. So just click on more and um, you should hopefully see anything about it there. Uh, do let me know what you think of it because I think it sounds quite interesting and um, I think it might um, work out well. Oh, oh yes, um, yeah, I, was, I remember what it was now. I was going to say that if we find out what the truth is, um, which way causes ice ages and which way doesn't, um, say if we get an ice age next year and um, you know, we find out that it's because we've changed the uh, relationship we have with the galaxy so that we're um, energetically in a different relationship with it, then we might want to record that and remember it rather than return to um, being cave people again and being manipulated by those who keep their knowledge secret. It'd be much better for us if we didn't go back to being cave people this time. Much better for us if we remembered everything we've learned and um, passed it all on to our descendants and didn't end up being manipulated by great saviors who um, teach us right from wrong and pass on forgotten knowledge and that when all they're really doing is building up yet another system to exploit us in um, and tell us we're okay with how primitive we were only a few thousand years before um, during the next non-ice age when they once again want to conquer the world Okay, so thanks for watching my video. Bye-bye.